Okay, so this is one of the standard rubber ducky antennas that you get everywhere. And what we're going to do is break it. And there we go, that's the bit we want inside. So you just literally pull this bit off. Get that. And then what we just need to do is just break this away so we can get a reasonable length. coax for the shielding um, so we don't need to be too gentle because we know we're breaking anyway so what I found with the other one that if you can um, if you bend it over you can then get these clips off on either side there we go so pull that back and all we need to do is just chop this off here and we've got our little so the thing is I've got one of these all-in-ones this is the Yishin EF01 and I don't know if you can see but the clover leaves here are so thin and they bend because I crash that's the whole part of the fun of the tiny whoop it bounces off things and it crashes and this thing is far too stiff on the cable and the um the leaves just just break so I took apart one of the normal little rubber ducky things and inside you'll find this is what you get try and get it in frame um i don't know how much was in frame but yeah so this is the problem this is the existing one and this is that so i've cut it off stripped it out and got it ready to solder those bits up so the idea is detach that and solder this in place hopefully this will be a lot more this will be a lot more durable than this so that's the plan we shall see so easy bit first some with chicken now unfortunately to add to all of this my soldering iron has basically fallen to pieces so it's not working particularly well oh no, that's right now it's working okay at the moment let's just make the most of it I'm not quite sure exactly what shape I'm going to need to fit this on, but I'll just tin this up to start with, and then I don't have to worry about it falling to pieces. Right. So, not perfect. Like I say, soldering iron's not brilliant. But we've got... Tinned antenna, I don't know how well you can see, probably not focusing particularly well on that. But there we go. So,
This is almost definitely not the best way of doing it, but like I say, my soldering iron is also not the best thing to be doing it with. So, right, that's that bit out of the way. Now all I need to do is remove pa -boom, the tip. Right, so here we go. Whatever it is, yeah, this can go in the bin as far as I'm concerned. Not good. Right, I think it's still a little bit long. It's just this, I can get it in. It's just insulation here, I think this needs to be a little. And there's the replacement on. It's quite long, but it bends out of the way. So hopefully that will do the job. Um, like it if you like it. Okay, so I just had a quick test flight um, with the new aerial. Um, and it seems to be working great and fine. It's actually a little bit lighter than the other one, so that's good. And a lot more um, resilient to bumps, bangs and what have you. So all in all a good mod. So on that note, I'll leave you um, have a good day and speak to you soon.